Good day, 21st century learners! How are you today? My name is Ma'am Joyce. Are you ready to have an adventure with me in the realm of English language? What are you waiting for? Gear up and discover new learnings. Last episode, you have learned about the concepts of information gathering through listening for everyday life usage. This time, you will learn about textual aids that are used as tools or materials to provide support and facilitate understanding of text. Textual aids make our life easier in interpreting information. While going through your module 2, you are expected to 1. Use various textual aids in understanding a text and number two, determine the effects of these textual aids in understanding a text. Textual aids refer to non-textual elements that help readers understand the content of the text. They also refer to elements that stand out from the main text such as titles and subtitles, bold, italicized, and underlined text. Non-textual elements include illustrations, maps, tables, graphs, and charts. These aids have two main functions, namely, first, to direct the reader's attention to important ideas in the text, and second, to provide more information as a supplement to what is already written. First, we have titles and subtitles. Layering or positioning of these aids convey the idea's level of importance. Look at the example. You have seen that the title Coronaviruses represents the key concept and virus evolution and virus seasonality as subtitles are the supporting ideas. Next, we have illustration. It gives us a visual representation of a subject. Take a look at the example. It helps us make our understanding to the text clear. Then, we have tables. These textual aids are not any more new to us. Tables show information about facts and figures. These are arranged in columns and rows. Check on the example. Column headings are the one in green circle. These are used to identify year when mobile phone owners use various mobile phone features while row headings are used to identify the contents on the various mobile phone features that mobile owners used. Don't you know that graphs are examples of textual aids that show relationship data and are intended to display the data in a way that is easy to understand and remember? Here are some examples of graphs. Bar graphs show numbers that are independent to each other. They offer a simple way to compare numeric values of any kind, including group sizes. Bar graphs can be either horizontal or vertical. One axis represents the categories while the other represents the value of each category. Take a look at the example. We got the information from the World Health Organization on the number of COVID-19 patients in the Philippines as of April 2, 2020 by age group. Next, we have pie graphs. Pie graphs show how a whole is divided into different parts. It looks like a circle divided into many pieces much like a pizza cut into slices. The pieces are of different sizes based on how much of the whole they represent. You might, for example, you want to show the results of a survey of 80 people and the pets they have. Line graphs show how number have changed over time. They are used when you have data that are connected and to show trends. Take a look at this example. You can see even more obviously that sales have fallen rapidly over the year, although the slowdown is leveling out at the end of the year. Next, we have pictograph. 
It is similar to bar chart, but it uses pictures to symbolize a countable unit of items. Lastly, we have maps. These are visual representations of selected characteristics of a place, usually drawn on a flat surface. They are of two types of maps. The first one is physical map. It includes labels for features such as mountain ranges and bodies of water. The second one is a political map. It usually includes labels for features such as cities and major towns, units such as states or provinces, and bodies of water. See that? Textual aids made it easier for us to interpret and gather information. They display information in a manner that is easy for most people to comprehend. We'll see each other again on the next episode. Bye!